morning, brothers and sisters. 各位弟兄姐妹早安。In the name of our Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, we begin our service today. 我们奉圣父、圣子、圣灵的名开始我们今天的崇拜。Let's prepare our hearts by singing the Lord in His temple to worship Him. 让我们预备我们的心灵，我们同唱主在圣殿中。Psalmist says, "God has ascended amid shouts of joy; the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God! Sing praises! Sing praises to our King! Sing praises! For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to Him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on His holy throne." 诗人说：“神上升，有喊声相送；耶和华上升，有脚声相送。你们要向神歌颂，歌颂，向我们王歌颂，歌颂。因为神是全地的王，你们要用悟性歌颂。神作王，治理万国。神坐在他的圣圣宝座上。”Shall we all rise? Let's have a word of prayer. 请大家一同起立，我们低头祷告。亲爱的天父，感谢你，感谢你今天早上带领众弟兄姐妹，无论在线上或者在现场的来敬拜你。求主你保守每一位。主啊，我们是那么的不配，可是你却会爱我们，把你的独生子赐给我们，洗净我们的罪孽。我们献上感谢。主啊，在我们当中，有忧伤的灵魂，也有身体软弱的，心灵软弱的，求主你安慰，也求主你医治，让我们每一个人都能够定睛在主你的身上，让我们每一个人都能够只仰望主你，因为唯有主你是值得依靠的。主啊。我们也把我们的以下的时间恭敬的交托，求主你高莫沉船到的口，把主你的信息释放出来，使我们每一个人既能听到，也能行好，也把我们教会在我下个礼拜的舍伦拜的那个洗礼交托在主手中，求主你保守所有的洗礼的弟兄姐妹，让他们每一个人。都在神的里面能够洁净，在神的里面能够做主你的重用的器皿。主啊，我们把这一切都献上，也把教会的以后的日子、以后的日情都交到在主你手中，求主你洁净，求主你帮助，求主赐给我们都聪明之智慧，让我们知道我们的前路应该如何的走，让我们知道。有你，我们不会迷路。主啊，我们感谢你。主啊，我们明白到主你从来没有答应我们天色苍蓝，可是有主你的底下，我们任何事情都不怕，任何事情我们都敢面对。主啊，我们感谢你。我们这样子的祷告，乃是奉靠主耶稣得圣名求。阿门。阿门。As we gather in God's house today, 那那今天我们在呃主的圣殿里面 ，May His、uh, presence and Spirit fill this place and fill our hearts. 那我们每个人的心灵都能够呃齐
重在神的灵上面。Thank you, Lord, for your love that endures forever. 是啊，谢谢你们的爱，谢谢主你的爱，让我们每个人都在你里面。Your mercies are new every morning. 你的你的呃、啊、光顾在每一天里面。And great is your faithfulness. 然后你的大爱伟大也是在我们的爱里面。Yeah. 
Testimony by the baptism candidates. So we will put out the name of all the candidates. So all the friends, little friends are so you can go by your name, you know, you know when it's your turn, okay? 请大家就按照那个PowerPoint上面的次序，然后每个人就上来见证。So we call upon Liam first. 嗯，现在是Liam，Liam。I want to be baptized. After knowing all the things that God has done for us, including sending His Son to die for our sins, as well as forgiving the people that killed Him, God is the one only true living God that could provide salvation, forgiveness, and redemption to anyone comes before Him. And so I want to accept Him as my personal Savior and follow and walk with Him in my life. I'm thankful to God for protecting, for protection of the pandemic, for keeping us safe, even when we went back in first person class and knows he's forever in our midst of every day. with God and also because it is God's will. I am very thankful for all the things that God did for me and took care of me right from my birth when I was born to be mature and I was a sick child in my first six, six years. It is humbly to know that God took our place and died for us so our sin could be forgiven. He protected me from COVID-19 and other illnesses and led me to them. I am forever thankful to him for giving us a second chance and for helping lead me to the right people. God has always protected me and was always at my side. Even when it did not feel like he was there, he was always there but helping me in different kinds of ways. I am thankful to my mom because she led me to God. At a young age, she took me to church every week. At first, church did not mean anything to me, but as I got older, it became a bigger part of me. And I am really thankful for what she did. Okay. 
Um, okay. So I, I started Sunday school when I was a toddler, and over, and over time I listened to his stories. This has taught me to learn his words from the Bible, and which have taught me meaningful lessons. So he answers my prayers and watches over me and my family. And through this, I have developed a closer relationship with him. With encouragement from my family, I have decided to get baptized. I accept him as my savior, and I believe that he will save us from our sins. When my mom asked me, do you believe in God? I said, yes. Then she asked, do you accept Jesus Christ as your savior? I said, yes. Lastly, she asked if I want to receive water baptism. I was very excited and said, yes. I've been attending the Sunday school since I was very young. At Sunday school, I sing praises to God and listen to his stories. I want to receive water baptism because I believe that our heavenly father is the true and living God, and there is no other God before him. He sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. Ever since I was young, I would attend church with my family. I attended the Sunday school, and I accepted Jesus as my Savior. As I grew older, my faith strengthened, and I got to know Christ more. The Lord has helped and guided me through my hardships. Whenever I was in doubt, I would pray. During the school year when I had a big exam, I would pray and the Lord would answer my prayers. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I came to know about Jesus through the Sunday School and the Grace Lingling Church. I believed in Jesus since I was a child and come to know him through my growth. I trust in him as my Lord and he's my good shepherd. During the time I had COVID-19, I was very sick and tired. I prayed to God at night so I can sleep well and feel better from all my sickness. Eventually, I recovered quickly and felt better the next few days. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hello, uh, my name is Enoch, and some of you may know me as my dad's son. And today, <laughs> I'll be sharing why I would like to get baptized. Well, ever since I was young, I have been going to church, and I was born into a Christian family, which I uh, am very lucky to be born into a Christian family because I would go to church every Sunday, attend with my parents, and uh, I'm very lucky to be my dad's son because he's a pastor, and I learn a lot from him and why I would like to be baptized is because I would like to commit myself into Jesus and follow every step of the way with him and believe that he is the one and only true savior and I felt down at many times but he has spoken to me one day when I went over to the park 
to hang out with my friends. Uh, we were hanging out like normal, but then some, everyone there started making fun of me for my beliefs and faith. But that night, I was touched by God. He said to me, well, he didn't, like, I read a scripture saying, Blessed are those who have been persecuted because of me, for they will have the kingdom of heaven. And this was the first of many times that he's talked to me. And I know that he is real, and I know that he is by my side every step of the way. And I want to commit my life into Jesus and, well, be stronger as a believer and be, be baptized so that I may... I may fully uh, believe in him and I'll have Christ as my savior. Hi, my name is Abigail and I will be sharing my testimony. I was born in a Christian family, and ever since I was little, my parents have been taking me to church. I go to Sunday school, and that is where I learned about Jesus. I came to know from the Bible and the teachings of Sunday school that we are sinners. I want to get baptized because I want God to save me. I want to have eternal life with God, and I want him to use me to do good things. I know that I sin and that Jesus is the only God that can save me and forgive me. A verse that helps me during this time is from John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Sometimes I wonder if the Lord is real and there are so many other gods, so why Christ? As I continued walking with the Lord, I trust that the Lord is real and he is our Savior. I know that God has a plan for all of us and his plans for me are better than mine. I talk to him about my problems and thank God for taking care of me. During this pandemic, when I was going through a mental health issue, God helped me to go through this difficult time through Pastor and Mrs. Chu. They helped me by praying for me and giving me a lot of Bible verses. They asked me if I believe that Jesus is our Savior and I believe. I prayed to the Lord and accepted Christ to come into my heart to be my Savior. I also had to go to the hospital by myself for that reason. The night I was in the hospital, I was so scared, worried, and alone. I could not go to sleep, and I talked to God about my day and prayed to Him. Although I know God knew about my day, I had comfort when I talked to Him. That night, God gave me a restful night where I did not wake up in the middle of the night. I am so thankful that God gave me peace and comfort. Once when I was worried about my future, that I would do something bad that will not please God, I opened up the Bible and saw this verse that really connects to what I was thinking. Then I realized God was talking to me. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for well-being and not for trouble, to give you a future and a hope. God has been protecting me and watching over me. When I am wor scared or worried, I see a verse in my head that helps me. Philipp Philippians 4 verse 6. Do not worry about anything but in everything. With prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. During the pandemic, I feel that I have been closer to the Lord and he has helped me to overcome temptation. When I get baptized, I want to continue to learn more about him and continue to walk closely with the Lord and go spread the good news to others. Baptism isn't something that I've ever thought about before and I never thought I would get baptized. But when my mom informed me that there was a baptism at Shalom by the Lake, she asked me whether I also wanted to get baptized. At first, my thought was that I wasn't ready yet, and I would wait until I was older. And uh, I told my mom that I didn't want to. Then she told me to rethink while driving me to school, although in my head I knew that my answer would still be no. A few weeks had passed, and I was still thinking about it. Then there was this one moment in school when I realized that I was just making excuses to not get baptized. At that moment, it felt as if God had opened my eyes to my excuses. Thus, when I got home, I told my mom that I would get baptized. During the first baptism class, we were learning about the myths of bat 
baptism. And one of the things was I have to reach a certain age or maturity to be able to be baptized. This was exactly my thought when I was thinking about it. And I would have kept saying that to myself until I was older and end up never getting baptized. I started to attend church when I was a, a small child and have gone to church every Sunday since. I am thankful for my family for bringing me to church every Sunday and incredibly thankful to my mom for making me reconsider. I am also thankful to God for helping me understand the importance of baptism. I now know that Jesus is my savior. He, ro he died for my sin and he rose again to give me new life. I want to follow him for, for the rest of my life. You guys hear me? Yes. Hello everyone. Good morning and thank you for having me here. I'm grateful to be here today to share with you all my testimony about my faith and decision to take the water baptism. To give everyone a bit of a background of myself, my name is Alex and I've been coming to this church for as long as I can remember. Growing up, my mother brought me and my brother to church on Sundays and instilled in me the importance of serving God and recognizing my faith. Today I'm here to provide my testimony of the impact that God has had on my life and my decision to take the water baptism. So just a little story for everyone. Um, when I first moved away from home to go to university in Waterloo, it was a really tough time for me, to be truthful, as I struggled to adjust to the new environment. Throughout my first two years of undergrad, I had a lot of ups and downs and felt disconnected from my faith. I recall when my mother would often drive about two plus hours each way during rush hour in the winter snowstorms from Markham to Waterloo to check up on me and remind me of my faith and that I should pray to God for strength and guidance. <clears throat> in addition, I recall reaching out to Pastor Mike actually, and he was actually always kind enough to check in on me and pray for me. Eventually, I found myself practicing my faith and building a strong relationship with God. I could feel myself getting closer to my faith by communicating with God through prayer, moving in the right direction. Now, fast forward to the last few months where I recently completed my undergrad and moved back home. I heard about the water baptism opportunity at the church, and so I reflected on this for a while and realized that I wasn't gonna postpone my baptism again. I realized that I pushed off baptism for a while because I always convinced myself that I wasn't ready. When in reality, what I really needed to do was recognize that I want to serve God <clears throat> and bring myself closer to my faith through baptism. Furthermore, I realized that if there's anything these last few years have taught me, it's that I'm extremely grateful for God for guiding me through this path as I know this is God's will. I want to give thanks to God for putting a lot of people in my life who have helped lead me towards Christ. First one, I'm extremely thankful to my mother for being supportive of my spiritual life and guiding me <clears throat> in this direction since I was a child. I'm also thankful to my aunt Cynthia, who would, who would often bring me and my younger brother to church when my mother was unable to attend. And last but not least, I'm thankful to the Sunday school team, members of the church, as well as Pastor Mike, for leading me towards Christ. I am beyond blessed and thankful for the opportunity to be able to take the water baptism next week, and I would like to thank you for your time. Can you hear me? This is my testimony. I thank the Lord God for my life because of all the blessings he has given me and all the protection he has given me through difficult times and the amount of forgiveness he gave me for sinning. Also, I want to thank the Lord for talking me through the Bible, which teaches me lessons that I follow. I want to take baptism because one of the lessons I learned by reading the Bible is that if you go get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as well as obey the commandments that God has given us, he will be with you till you die. I came to understand that it is God's will for me to receive water baptism by reading the Bible, praying to him about my life, and answering him, I say, in my prayer to him. I want to thank my family and Sunday school teachers for teaching me about God and leading me into the way of Christ. Well, praise the Lord. We are so happy to hear all the testimony by the young people here. It is indeed an exciting time for the church and for yeah for all of us here. 
，这个真的是对于教会来说，对于我们在座的每一位来说，都是一个很非常兴奋的一件的事情。And we are very thankful to God for all these young people coming to faith. 我们也感谢神，看到这一群的年轻人愿意将愿意去信靠跟随主。This coming Saturday, they will be receiving water baptism. 这个的来呃，下一个的星期六，他们就会去接受这个的洗礼了。And once again, a reminder that water baptism is not the end to our faith. 我再一次的提醒大家，我们去领受这个洗礼，不是代表这是我们信仰的一个的宗旨。In fact, this is the beginning of our faith journey. 但是这才是我们信心开始的一个的路程。So as church, let let us welcome these young people. Let us love them and nurture them in their growth. 我们身为教会的，让我们一起去爱这一群年轻的弟兄姐妹，一起去牧养他们在教会里面很好的去成长。As parents, as grandparents, let us Also, know that we play a very important role at home. We, as parents, or as grandparents, are also as parents and grandparents. We have a very important part to do in our home. How we make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will have a great impact on our children. We make priorities on Sunday morning will In, uh, we will be sending out a message to our children that church is actually not that important. 那我们直接的就是好像给了我们小孩子的一个的信息，就是告诉他们教会看起来好像也不是那么的重要。And one day they may decide that God is actually not important at all. 那有一天他们就会觉得那决定神根本就没有那么的重要了。Let's look at our text this morning. Taking from First John chapter five verses eleven to thirteen. 让我们一起来看一下今天的经文是在约翰一书的第五章十一节到十三节。I invite all of us to stand for the reading of God's word. 我们邀请大家一起来起立来读神的话语。I'll read it in English, and then、uh, those who read Chinese can just follow the screen. 我们会一起的用英语来念。And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Let us pray. 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 Speak to us, word of comfort,、mm -hmm. and speak to us, word of encouragement. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.、Uh, please be seated. 请坐 <coughs> How can we be sure of our salvation? 我们怎样子才有那一个救恩的那一种的确据呢 How can I know if I am a true Christian? 我怎样子知道我是一个真正的基督徒 I think many of us, at some point in our life, we probably may have asked. Similar question like this. I believe we all, in our lives, at some point, have asked ourselves this question. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. It tells us. We will look at John here in First John chapter five, verse one. And then in verse five it says, "Who is it that overcome the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God?" 第五节那里说，胜过世界的是谁呢？不是那信耶稣是神儿子的吗 ？You see, John is making it clear that a Christian is someone who is born of God and someone who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. 在这里，约翰他是非常清楚地告诉我们，哪一些是信啊，哪一些是基督徒呢？就是从神而生，还有信信靠耶稣是神儿子的。When you read the、uh, book of First John, you will see that First John was written to Christian to give Christian assurance of their salvation. 如果你读约翰一书的话，那约翰他写给他的目的就是要让那些基督徒有那一个信心的那一种的确据。And look with me again in in verse thirteen here.、Uh, it says, "I write these things to you." 
you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life. 十三节，那你说到，我将这些话写给你们信奉神儿子之名的人，要叫你们知道自己有永生。The, John used this word "know" almost forty times in this short letters. 约翰他用了这个词“知道”这个词，在这一卷的书卷里面差不多有四十遍。Why do you think that he keep repeating himself? 为什么他一直的不断的去重复这个的词呢 ？I think we all know that when you hear reputation, what does it mean? It means that there is something important. 那如果我们看到有一个词，它不断的重复的话，那我们就知道这样的东西是非常重要的。As parent, we always, if there is something important, we always keep reminding our children. 我们身为做家长的，如果有一些东西是非常重要的时候，我们会不断的去提醒我们自己的儿女。And in school, the same thing. Your teacher will keep reminding you of the important assignment coming up, or maybe the projects. 那同样的，在学校里面，老师也会不断的重复，你有一个的测验要去做，有或者是要有一个的啊， uh, 要有一个的功课要要去交了。So here we see John keep repeating himself、uh, the word no because. In in fact, the Lord wants us to know that we have salvation and we have been safe. 那在这里，约翰他不断的去重复这个知道这个的词，就是神他要我们知道我们有这个的救恩，我们有那一在神里面有那一个的信心。So let us look at、uh, the three basic tests this morning that、uh, to help us know that whether we are born again or not, whether we are safe or not. 那今天早上，让我们来看一下三个很简单的一个的测试，来看一下我们到底是不是已经重生而生了。The first one is the lordship test. 第一个就是主权的一个的测试。Oh, that is, is Jesus the Lord of your life? 耶稣基督他是不是我们人生的主 ？When you say yes, then the next question is that is he in control of your life? 那如果你说是的话，那下一个的问题是不是他是不是掌管你的一切，你的生命呢 ？And here you see First John chapter two verse three tells us by this we know that we have、uh, we have come to know him, which is Christ, if we keep his commandments. 在第三节。哦、oh, ，OK， 啊、uh, ，在约翰一书的第二章第三节那里说，我们要遵守他的诫命，就晓得是认识他。That is a person who is born of God and who believes in Jesus as the Son of God will have the desire to please God and to keep His commandment. 那就是一个是从神而生，然后相信神是啊，相信耶稣是神的儿子的时候，你就会有那一个的渴慕去遵守他话语的心。So here we see、uh, John. John is telling us, if we know him, then we will keep his commandment. 在这里，约翰告诉我们，如果我们去，我们是认识他的话，那我们就要去遵守他的诫命。Because when we come to Christ, 因为当我们啊， uh, 让我们认识基督的时候 ，the Spirit of God indwells in us. That's the promise of God. 那圣灵他就已经内住在我们的心心里面，这是神给我们的一个的啊， uh, 一个啊， uh, 一个的。So, 对，一个的确据。And if we are believer, if we are seated here or online, 如果我们是在座的，你是一个信主的，如果是在网上，你们已经信了主。And I'm sure we all have this similar experience. 我相信我们都有同样的、差不多的一个的经历。Because prior to coming to Christ, we don't really care about the, the will of God. 因为在当我们还没有信主之前，那我们根本就不会去在意神的旨意到底是什么。But after you become a Christian, when the A spirit of God indwell in you. 但是当我们成为了基督徒，当圣灵内住在我们的心里面的时候 ，Then you see that you start to change. 但你就会看到你的生命就开始有改变了。And this change is supernatural. It is not something that you decide that you want to change. 这个的改变是超自然的改变，不是你自己说改变你就可以有的。I'm not talking about New Year New Year resolution that we okay we make some plan and we try to change. 不是说啊，说就是每一个过新年的时候，你就有一个的新的心计，你要去啊、uh, 改变什么东西。And that is why New Year resolution never works. 因为那就是为什么每一次你新新年的心智都都是不能够成功的。Because if you try on your own, you will fail. 因为你只是靠着你自己的能力去做的话，那你一定会失败。But here, a truly born again believer person will have the spirit of God indwells in them. 
。但是一个从神而生的人，他会有圣灵内住在他的心里面。And now we experience the Spirit of God in us, working and helping us, and giving us the desire for the Word of God and for God Himself. 那我们去经历这圣灵在我们我们里面去动工，帮助我们有那个渴慕神的心。And the Spirit of God enables you to have the appetite for God's Word. 那神的灵也帮助我们可以对圣啊、uh, 对神的话语有那一种的渴慕。Maybe some of you have experienced before you become a Christian, you think the church is boring. 可能你们之前都会有同样的经历。当你们还没有信主之前，你们觉得教会是一件非常无聊的一件的事情。But after you you become a Christian, you realize that. You wanted to be in the church, in the fellowship of God's people. 但是当你真正的信了主的时候，那你就会觉得你渴慕在教会里面，你渴慕与教会的弟兄姐妹在一起。Something that you feel that it's boring now becomes something that you enjoy. 那一些你以前觉得是很无聊的事情，现在变成了你是非常的感觉是有兴趣去做的事情。And we experience the power of the Spirit in us, helping us to love Christ, to serve Christ, and to serve the church. 我们也。也能够可以感觉到圣灵在我们的心里面去感动我们，去爱神，去爱教会。First John three twenty four tells us this: Whoever keep his commandments abides in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit whom he has given us. 约翰一书第三章二十四节那里说到：遵守神命令的，就住在神里面，神也住在他里面。我们所以知道神住在我们里面，是因他所赐给我们的圣灵。So here you see the Spirit of God abides in us and help us and enable us to keep Jesus' commandment. 所以在这里看到神的圣灵住在我们的心灵啊，心里面，他帮助我们去遵守神的诫命。But yet, on the other hand, those people who do not care about the will of God or the things of God, it's a clear sign that the person has never had this new life at all. 那在另一方面，如果一个人他从来他就不注意神他的啊神的旨意，他根本就不去关心的话呢，那他当然就没有神的灵在他的心里面了。A Christian may drift away for a certain period of time. 一个的基督徒他可能有些时候他会走迷失的方向。But he or she can never stay away from the church for the rest of their life. 但是他从他不会一直的远离教会，远离神的。So I invite all of us here this morning to to look into our own hearts this morning. 所以今天早上我们邀请大家一起的来自己审查一下我们自己的内心。And ask ourselves, do we have a desire to please God? 我们有没有那个渴慕的心去讨神的喜悦呢 ？Do we care about the things that God care about？ 我们有没有去关心那些神所在意的事情呢 ？Do we have interest in God's word？ 我们对神的话语有没有那个渴慕的心 ？Every single day, how many hours we are on social media checking on news or all these rumors or whatever it could be, but how much time do we spend on the word of God？ 一天，你有花了多少的时间？你在这世界听到啊， uh, 关于他们的新闻报道，任何的事情，但是你在神的话语里面发出的时间，呃、uh, ，发出的时间又是多少呢 ？And young people, I know we are all we all watch、uh, Instagram, whatever it could be. Like there are so many or YouTube shorts and all this. We spend hours swiping our phone and watching all these short videos. 那年轻人的，你们每一天看着你们的手机，很长的啊、uh, 时间，一段的时间去接受不同的信息。And how much information are we allowing all these the worldly message to come into our mind? 我们多常用用在这世界上的那一些的信息来到我们的头脑里面、脑海里面。How much How much time do we spend in the Word of God? 当我们在神的话语上面又花出了有多少的时间呢？ So let's pray that God will give us the appetite and help us to have desire for His Word. 让神来帮助我们，给我们那一个渴慕的心，有那一种的啊，心去去听、去看神的话语。You see, Christians are not perfect, or they are not sinless. 我们看到基督徒不是说是就完全了，又或者是不会犯罪了。But a true Christian will always strive for the goal to please his master. 但一个真正的基督徒，他会是尽力的去讨他主的喜悦的。So is Christ your master this morning? 今天早上，耶稣基督是不是你的主呢 ？Hudson Taylor, one of the earliest missionary to China, often said this. 戴德森，其中一位最早去到中国做宣教的工作的一位宣教士。And he he is often said that if Christ、uh, Christ is either Lord of all all or 
is not Lord at all. 他经常这样子说，基督要么就是一切的主，要么就什么都不是。So I repeat that again. He said, Christ is either Lord of all or is not Lord at all. 我再重复一次，他说到，基督要么是一切的主，要么就是什么都不是。So what about for you this morning? Is Christ the Lord of all in your life? 那今天早上。基督在你的心里面是不是做主的那一位呢 ？May God speak to us and may God help us to submit to His Lordship. 让神来帮助我们，让神来让我们顺服在他的主权之下。Again, we see John 14:15, where Jesus said that if you love me, you will keep my commands. 我们看到约翰福音十四章十五节那里说到，你们若爱我，就必遵守我的命令。This is not just for those who will be get, getting baptized next week. It is for all of us who have been Christian for many, many years. Let God speak to us. 这不只是给那些下个星期要受洗的弟兄姐妹，而是给我们每一位的弟兄姐妹的。Now the second test we're going to look at is the fellowship test. 第二个测试我们来看的就是我们这个团契生活的一个的测试。You probably heard many people say this. I don't know. Maybe you you said it yourself too. You、uh, someone who will say, "I don't need to go to church. I can worship God anywhere." You 可能听过很多人这样子说，甚至你自己也这样子说。我不需要去教会，我既可以就是这样子来信主。Since God is everywhere, so I can worship God at my home. I can worship God even at the、uh, at the park or any anywhere I go. 因为神他是无所不在的神，那我可以无论是在家里面，在公园里面，我都可以去赞美敬拜他了。And some, some, some will go to the extreme and say, I don't need to go to church to be safe. 有一些甚至说，我不需要去教会以呃以致我能够可以去得救。Well, what is the problem with this statement? 但他所说的这一些话里面。You look at First John chapter one verse three. This is what John said: that we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son,、uh, with His Son Jesus Christ. John 一书第一章的第三节那里说，我们将所看见、所听见的全给你们，使你们与我们相交。我们乃是与父并他儿子耶稣基督相交的。So you see, John basically saying a true Christian is someone who will be in fellowship with the church, with the people in the church. But then, this fellowship is actually fellowship with God Himself. 在这里，约翰他是说到一个真正的基督徒，他是会在教会里面与弟兄姐妹彼此的相交的，而这一种的相交也是与神去相交的。That is why I say a Christian may drift away from God or from the church for a period of time, but can never be like for the rest of their life. 那那就是我之前所提到的一个基督徒，他可能会有些时候会走迷路啊， uh, 没有来教会一段的时间，但是他不会永远都是这样子的。Because when you give your heart and life to Jesus, He puts you in His church. 因为当你真的是将你的人生、你的生命交给主的时候，他就把你放在这个教会里面。And what is the purpose of Him putting us in the church like this? 那他为什么要把我们？放在教会里面呢，他的目的又是什么呢 ？And here John is saying that he's talking about the the reason to be in fellowship with God is to experience this love for one another and love from God. 那就是他要把我们放在教会里面，就是有这种的团契，然后可以去经历啊，我们彼此之间的那种的相爱。And chapter three verse fourteen here he says, we know that we have passed out from death into life, which is.、Uh, From saving us and putting us into the kingdom of God. Now, what happened? Because we love the brothers. Whoever, whoever does not love,、uh, whoever does not love abides in death. 在第三章十四节那里说到，我们因为爱弟兄，就晓得是已经出死入生了。没有爱心的，永住在死中。And the brothers here, he's talking about fellow believer in the Lord. 在这里的弟兄就是说到在。啊、uh, ，在教会里面一切信主的弟兄姐妹们。Now, yes, brother and sister together in the church, in the family of God. 那在教会里面一切信主的弟兄跟姐妹。And for those of you who、uh, attended pre-baptism class, that's not too long ago. We talk about how when God saves us, He puts us into the church. 在如果你们有去参加那个慕道班的，我在慕道班里面也提提到过，当我们拯救了神，把我们是放在教会里面的。And I emphasize the 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 Goal or the purpose of God putting us in the church is because we have seen in scriptures there are so many commands talking about to love one another, to forgive one another, to serve one another. 
，在那里我不断的去强调，为什么神要把我们放在教会里面，那就是我们要去彼此的去相爱，我们要彼此的去服侍。And to forgive one another. 然后还有去彼此的去饶恕。Now think about the statement that someone said, "I don't need to go to church to be a Christian." 那再再一次的想一下这一句话，就是我我不需要去教会一次，我能够可以去得救。Then how can that person be serving, be loving, and be forgiving? 那他怎样子才可以去经历被爱、去被服侍，还有被饶恕呢 ？And how can that person even grow in the Lord? 他那一个人，他又怎样子可以在神里面不断的去成长呢 ？And John one, uh, I mean, chapter four, verses twenty to twenty-one, again emphasize on this. If anyone say I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar, for he does not love his brother whom he has seen. How can he love God whom he cannot see? And then this is the command we have from him: whoever loves God must also love his brothers. 约翰在第四章二十到二十一节那里强调说：“人若说我爱神，却恨他的弟兄，就是说谎话的；不爱他所看见的弟兄，就不能爱没有看见的神。爱神的也当爱弟兄，这是我们从神所领受的命令。” Now, just think about our own biological family. We 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 think about our own biological family. 那我记忆当中，我们也也不会，我我们也不晓得怎样子去彼此的相爱，彼此的去跟彼此去沟通。But we receive love from our parents, from our mothers, from our dad. 但是我们从我们的父母、我们的爸爸、我们的妈妈那里领受到这一份的爱。As baby growing up, you experience the love that they pour out on you, the sacrifices that they give you. 当你做还做呃婴孩的时候，你看到你的父母不断的为你牺牲了很多的东西。And if you have sibling, and then if you are the older one, you probably remember when your little brother or sister they were born, how your parents wanted you to help take care of the little one. 如果你家里面有兄弟姐妹的，那你是做哥哥又或是做姐姐的那一个的话，当妹弟弟妹妹出生了，那你的爸妈也会想你怎样子去照顾你的弟弟妹妹。Your parents expect you to watch over and take care of the younger ones. 那你的父母是希望你能够可以去帮忙去看顾弟弟妹妹的。And your parents expect you to share the love. With one another, or even share toys with them when when they're little. 那你的父母也是很渴慕你们能够可以去啊彰显这一份的爱，或者是跟你的弟弟妹妹去分享你的玩具的。And look look at here what John says about the、uh, the church. He said, if you call yourself a Christian, but yet you you don't or you hate your brother, that's a strong word. That you hate your brother, then it means that you're a liar. 在这里，约翰他说到什么？他说：“如果你是说爱神的，但是你却恨你的弟兄的话，那这就是说谎话的。” For if we cannot love someone whom we can see, which is our brother, we can see. But how can we love God that we cannot see? 那如果我们不爱我们可以看所看见的弟兄姐妹，我们怎样子可以爱那一位我们不能够看见的神呢 ？So how do we know that we are a true Christian? 那我们怎样子知道我们是一个真正的基督徒呢 ？A real Christian, a true Christian, is someone who loves God, but he will not stop there. He will also love fellow Christian because they are created in the image of God, and they are part of the family. 那一个真正信主的人，他们会是爱神的，但不，他们不只是停留在那里，他们还是会爱。身边的弟兄姐妹，因为弟兄姐妹都是按照神的形象而所被造的。We have looked at the lordship test and the fellowship test. 我们看过了这一个祖传的一个的测试，还有这一个呃、uh, fellowship test. 这一呃、uh, sorry 团契团契 sorry 这一个团契生活的一个的测试。Now let us look at the third test, which is the relationship test. 那我们来看一下第三个的测试，就是这个关系上面的一个的测试。And look at what John says in verse twelve. 我们来看一下约翰他在十二节那里说什么。Whoever has the son has life. 他在这里说，人有了神的儿子就有生命。So whoever has Jesus has life. 在这里说到，如果那个人他是拥有耶稣的，那他就有生命。And then he said, God gave us eternal life, which is at the end of verse eleven. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in the Son. 
。那在十一节尾的时候是他那里说到，神赐给我们永生。这永生也是在他儿子里面的。So today, how can you and I have relationship with God? 那今天我们怎样子，你和我怎样子，可以有神啊、uh, 跟神之间有那一种的关系呢 ？It is through the through our relationship with Jesus Christ. 那就是透过我们与耶稣基督之间的那一种的关系。And in a church, how can we have relationship with one another? 那在教会里面，我们怎样子可以跟弟兄姐妹有那一种的关系的存在呢 ？The answer is same. It is through Jesus. Jesus Christ. 那同样答案也是一样的，就是透过耶稣基督。Today I'm standing here because of Jesus. 今天我站在这里就是因为耶稣。Today you are seated here, and those online, you are gathered together. Why? Because you love Jesus. You want to worship Him. 那今天你坐在这里，又或者是你在网上的，为什么你会在这里出现呢？那因为就是你。You see, salvation is a vital relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. 那你看到我们的救恩是与基督主耶稣基督是有一个非常重要的关系的。We are relational beings, and we are created for relationships. 我们是，我们被造是有关系的，所以我们彼此有那种的关联。And any sorts of relationship, whether it be between husband and wife. 我任何的一种的关系，无论是夫妻之间的关系 ，or parents and children， 无论是父母与儿子的呃与儿女们的关系 ，or between siblings at home， 又或者是兄弟姐妹之间的关系 ，or even with friends， 又或者是你跟你朋友之间的关系 ，any type of relationships would require our time。无论每怎样子的一种的关系，你在当中都是需要有时间去培养的。Simply put it this way, any type of relationship will require our investment. That is investing our time for other people. 很简单的来说，任何一种的关系，我们必须要花出那一种的时间与人去培养这种的关系。If you do not spend time with the other people, uh, other person. Think about what kind of a relationship you will have with that that person. 如果你跟那个人没有花出一段时间培养一种的关系的话，那你想一下，你跟他的关系又会变成是怎样子呢 ？If you have attended pre-baptism service, I mean, uh, the uh, the class, you probably remember one of the uh, uh, sharing I share with you. 如果你们是有参加这个慕道班的话，我相信你们也记还记得我跟你们分享过的一件事情。Or maybe the the illustration that I gave. 又或是我给你们的一个的例子。And I talk about I used I have I had a very good friend that we grew up together. 那说到就是我有一个很好一起成长的一个的朋友。And I felt that I know him very well. 我觉得我已经非常的认识他了。Because we spend time. A, we spend a lot of time together. We know each other what, what we like, what we don't like. We know each other what we know each other secret. We know each other what we he like, what we don't like. We know each other we still use back, back days, uh, back in the days we don't have email. So we used to write write letter. 那那时候还没有这个电子的呃那个的邮件，我们那时候还是要用手写字信出去的。From Canada to India, sometimes it takes about a month to get the letter. 那如果你从加拿大寄信去印度的话，有些时候要需要一个月的时间。And then slowly, slowly we we live our own life. 那慢慢慢慢的，我们都各自有我们各自的生活了。So in the beginning, we probably will have more a lot of mail, and then slowly, slowly, the mail started to, uh, to, to, like we we don't get we don't write to each other as often. 那就是一开始可能我们有很多书信的来往，但是慢慢慢慢的就越来越少了。And after coming to Canada, we we met up. 那当我来到加拿大之后呢，我跟他有有再一次的去相聚。I mean, we are still friends, but then we realize that. We are no longer. I mean, we are no longer that close. I mean, we become like strangers. 那我们仍然是朋友，但是就不好像以前那么的亲密了，就好像感觉好像有一点的陌生。Because he changed and I changed. 因为他有改变，那我自己也有改变。And we both have different interests, different、uh, yeah, different things that we like. 那我们有不同的兴趣爱好。Now, simple illustration or simple、uh, example that if we don't spend time together, then we will become apart. We will.、Uh, The relationship will go apart. 那这简单的例子，如果我们不啊， uh, 就是不花出时间的话呢，我们就会啊、uh, 不能够啊、uh, 彼此就去认识了。So may I ask each one of you this morning? 那
Maybe those of us who have been Christian for many, many, many years. How is your relationship with God now? Is Christ your companion? Is he your friend? Or is he someone that you heard about at one point of your life but you never bothered to get to know him? Or is he the one that you go to only when you needed something? Young people, do you go to him only when you have exam or when you need something, you need a job? You see, the question is not, did you believe in Jesus? But rather, are you believing in Him? Do you have a relationship with the Lord right now? The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians tells us to examine our faith to see whether we are in the faith. And with these three basic tests before us, how are you doing in the Lordship test? Is Jesus the Lord of your life? Last week, Elder Sung talked about the throne. Is Christ seated in the throne of our life? A lot of time we say, yes, Christ is the Lord of my life. But then we are the one who is making all the decisions. So think about that. Is he on the throne or he is in, in, some, in one of the corners of your heart? The second is fellowship test. We, do we have fellowship with God through, his, uh, through the reading of His Word and in prayer? And Christian, when was the last time you pray? I mean, really pray. When was the last time you read His Word? Now, I'm not talking about reading Word like uh, on Facebook, someone posting. That's not your devotion. I mean, if you're reading that, that's good. Because in our church, we have all the different small groups. We send out scriptures every day. That is not your devotion. I'm talking about you personally going and digging up God's word for yourself. And the fellowship is also, John talked about our fellowship with one another is our fellowship with God the Father and through, uh, the Son. So do we have fellowship with the church, with our brothers and sisters? When was the last time you joined the fellowship? May God speak to all of us. And finally, how are we doing in our relationship test? Do we have relationship with God through Jesus Christ? And if you do, then how are you doing to strengthen that relationship with God? May the Lord strengthen our faith. 
And for those of you who have not put your trust in Jesus, and the young people who think that you believe but you have not accepted Christ, I mean, uh, accepted this uh, water baptism. For whatever reason, and I want you to take this to the Lord, not to hear your pastor, not to hear your mom, your dad, not to hear your Sunday school teachers. Because our relationship with Jesus has to be our first hand experience, not based on our parents or someone else. May God help those of us who have not really put our trust in Him to accept this free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Father, we give thanks to you for this day. Indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the 11 uh, young people here in our midst yes. that stood up here to testify the goodness of you mm -hmm. and to share about the experience of their salvation. Yes. Lord, we give thanks to you. We pray for them. We ask that you will strengthen them, help them to know that this is the beginning of their faith journey. Mm -hmm. And for those of us as parents, grandparents, or as a church, help us to be ever supporting, to love them, and to nurture them in the Lord. We pray for the upcoming Saturday as they will testify before men, before God, and even before Satan himself mm -hmm. that they belong to Jesus. Yes. So God, I pray that you will strengthen their faith mm -hmm. and you will give them the joy that no one else can take it away mm -hmm. and the peace that passes all human understanding. Yes. Lord, we give thanks to you. And for those of us who are here and those who are online mm -hmm. and those of us who have put our trust in you for many, many years, God, I pray that you will speak to us, help us to hear from your word, through these uh, three basic tests that we just went through. Mm -hmm. Like Paul said, examine your faith to see whether you're in the faith. So this morning we want to do just that. Mm -hmm. And I pray that those of us who may be drifting away from you, and I pray that they will hear your still small voice calling them to return back to you. Mm -hmm. Because when we return back to you, that's when we meet you, and that's when we return back to the okay. source of life. So God, I pray for each and every one of us here, whether we are old Christian, I mean us Christian who have been uh, many, many years, or we are new Christian, or uh, anyone in between. So God, I pray that you will build us up all for your glory. May all glory and honor be to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Chan, for the message and Evelyn for the interpretation. In response, let's sing All to Jesus I Surrender.
let's uh, read uh, together the scripture of the week taken from John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now is the time for welcome and announcement. So yes, once again we are so happy to see all the baptism candidates who are here and we welcome all of you to be in our service today. We are so happy and praise God for all of you. Also, all the other brothers and sisters who are here today and also those who are worshipping online. So let's go to the announcement. So our Sunday worship service is still streamed online every Sunday at 10.30 at graceingliang.online.church and prayer meetings are also online on Tuesday at 8 p.m. And children's Sunday school and other fellowships are conducted online through Zoom. So we welcome everybody to join. Church. Offerings and love gifts can be sent through interagi transfer to Grace England Church at gmail.com using online banking or mail in checks to the church office. We prefer you to send your love gifts via e transfer during this time. 感谢弟兄姐妹爱心的奉献可以使用interact于我们的email gracelinglearnchurch at gmail.com电子银行转账或是支票。然后在疫情的期间,我们最好,你们是最好将你们的奉献以电子银行转账。关思。this year, the Vacation Bible School will be held from August 22nd to 26th. Children in the age group from 4 to 14 years old are welcome to join. The registration fees is $100. Please register early and contact Brother Paul for registration. Understanding the Bible is added to the, the afternoon sessions, free for teens and Sunday school teachers. All are welcome to participate. Today, Please uh, continue to pray for the baptism candidates who will be baptized this coming Saturday, Ju July 16, at Shalom by the Lake. There is uh, one more uh, additional announcement. We are sad to announce that uh, our brother uh, Fong Sr. has been promoted to glory. Please uh, remember him in prayer, pray that uh, his soul may rest in peace in our uh, Lord's everlasting arms. And also remember his son, uh, please uphold him, that is uh, John Found Jr. in your prayer. 
and the, uh, his uh, funeral service will be on this uh, Friday, July 15. Uh, the viewing will be uh, starting by 10 o'clock to 11 in the morning. And followed by the funeral service at 11 o'clock. And the venue will be at uh, Elgin Mills Cemetery. Uh, the address is uh, 1591 Elgin Mills Road, East. And the address is 1591 Elgin Mills Road, East. That is in Richmond Hill, okay? It's in Richmond So for those of you who are interested to attend, you can please contact either Pastor Chu or Pastor Chen. If you have any interest in attending, please contact Pastor Chen or Pastor Chen. Shall we all rise? Let's sing doxology and we re request uh, Elder Soon for the benediction. Let us receive God's benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our God and in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Silent prayer. We'll see you all next Sunday again. 请大家大家请坐。啊，请弟兄姐妹留步。我们等一下 service 以后，我们会将会拍一个团体的照。请大家留步。<笑>